So we have so many different energy levels for you tonight. Our spirits are high right now. We're ready to affect climate change. But now we're going to have a chance to settle into our bodies and have a guided meditation by an inspiration of ours. Corinne Winter is the founder and CEO of Mission B. Everyone, Corinne. Thank you, Ari. I'm so grateful to be here with all these amazing children. They're all so gifted and talented. Um, like Ari said, my name is Corinne Winter. I'm the CEO and founder of Mission B. And we're a nonprofit bringing mindfulness, compassion, and altruism to children in the Bay Area and in New York. We've been in about 84 schools. We've trained about 60,000 kids. And um, what's unique about our mindfulness program is we teach the children the importance of being stewards of the earth and being altruistic in the world. So I'd like, you to, like to guide you through a short meditation practice, um, something similar to what we guide the students in. So if you just all close your eyes. And just begin to connect with your breath. Notice how your belly and heart rise on the inhale and fall on the exhale. Inhale, belly and heart rise. And exhale, heart and belly fall. Notice that when you inhale, the breath is cool. When you exhale, the breath is warm. So inhaling cool air and exhaling warm air. And just begin to relax the muscles in your face. Feel your jaw soften. Relax the muscles in the back of the head around the ears and take a deep breath and feel it rise through the front of the body. Feel the shoulders rise and as you exhale, invite the shoulders to relax. Take another slow, deep breath in and as you exhale, feel your arms relax down to your fingertips. And breathe deep into your belly and feel the breath rise back into your heart. And as you exhale, feel a wave of relaxation washing down your spine. And breathe deep into your belly and it feel rising all the way up. As you exhale, feel your entire upper body soften and release. And then breathe into your lower belly and feel your hips expand. And as you exhale, feel a wave of relaxation washing down your legs to the soles of your feet and the tips of your toes. And just notice your breath. Notice how your breath moves just like a wave in the ocean. Softly and gently rising on the inhale and falling on the exhale. And now harness the imagination of a child and imagine a beautiful beam of sunlight washing down through the crown of your head and filling every cell of your being with this light. And take a deep breath in and feel this light filling your body. And as you exhale, send that light out into the room for whoever needs it tonight. And take another deep breath in. And send that light out to anyone in San Francisco that needs that light. And then another deep breath in. And anyone in our world that needs that light. 
May we have peace in our world. May we have peace in our country. May we have peace in our hearts. And may we remember who we really are. So place one hand just above your heart and breathe into your heart. And send a little love to yourself. And thank yourself for showing up tonight for the children and for this beautiful purpose of protecting our precious planet. Let's take one more deep breath in together and really saw the breath out and just wiggle your fingers on your hand and wake up your heart and come back to this beautiful place here at Grace. Thank you. Namaste. Welcome back. We promised you a journey this evening, and yet we are still just beginning. So welcome to this beautiful Grace Cathedral, a remarkable historical place that has withstood the test of time. Many of us in this room spend time at the United Nations headquarters in New York, but how many of you know that the United Nations was founded where? Right here in San Francisco. And depicting that time period, there was an event that took place and there's a mural here. So I challenge you to go on the scavenger hunt and find it just after we conclude the program this evening. How many of you are here at Grace Cathedral for the first time this evening? All right, well, welcome, myself included. And it's beautiful perspective from up here. Mm -hmm. Joining us, we have an incredible special guest. It is my distinct pleasure to invite someone up here who um, has, who facilitates cultural programming here. And so it's, it's, it's a wonderful opportunity for us to take a moment from the excitement of our advocacy work during the Global Climate Action Summit and to experience an evening of culture and music. And we have someone to thank for that. And that is none other than Miss Mary Carter Green. And as I mentioned just a moment ago, she is the Director of Cultural Programs here at Grace Cathedral. So please give a heartfelt welcome to our guest. I would love to be the Director of Cultural Programs. I actually am the Director of Children, Youth, and Family Ministries, but Rebecca Nessel, who's around here somewhere, is the Director of All Cultural Events. And I, um, she asked me to come speak to you tonight just to welcome you on behalf of the Grace Cathedral staff. I'm one of the five priests here on staff, and I have the great pleasure of working with the families, children, and youth here. Um, and so I'm telling you guys, on those times, I go drums, my heart was just going crazy listening to that. Did you guys feel that too? I mean, if that is not the divine power, I don't know what it is. It's amazing. This is a space for liturgy. This is a space for joy. This is a space where we have all the feelings that we might have um, on the human journey. And one of them is hope. And today we share that hope uh, that we will work together to, um, to build this planet into its best shape and to rebuild the things that human hands have taken apart. Um, we are honored at Grace Cathedral to be partnering with you with the Global Climate Action Network, um, and we believe in the power of youth, and most importantly, we believe in the power of love and community. So thank you all for being here and being a part of that community and a part of that love. Amen. We are the youth and we have come to shine the light To show you the way you're living just ain't right It's endangering the future that you will lead 